Age-related macular degeneration affects 11 million people in the U.S., and that number is expected to nearly double by 2050. Now researchers are looking into how a unique characteristic of a zebrafish can regenerate retinas in humans and keep people seen as they age. Marty Salt has the details. These fish might be tiny, but they come with some supersized powers. Zebrafish, unlike mammals, are able to regenerate parts of their retina if they become injured. That's why researchers from Vanderbilt University Medical Center are studying how this characteristic of zebrafish can help humans dealing with age-related vision loss due to damage to the retina. The cells that make up the retina between the fish and the human are very, very similar. Except for one cell called MG for malaglia. In a zebrafish, when that cell is damaged, it will activate and then regenerate. So the fish will go from blind to about um, two and a half weeks later, total regain of eyesight. Humans have the same Muller glia cell, but are incapable of regeneration like the zebrafish. But researcher James Patton is trying to find out if suppressing a certain type of microRNA in humans could activate Muller glia the same way it does in zebrafish. Currently, the economic burden for eye disorders and vision loss sits at about $139 million. But if there were ways to uh, uh, keep people uh, seeing and overcome degenerative disorders, I um, mean, that would have a huge economic impact, not to mention quality of life. Possibly giving millions the opportunity to see again. I'm Marty Salt reporting. And interestingly, the zebrafish is used often to study human traits and diseases because they share 70% of humans' genetic code.